This question is working out whether or not you can convert from hexadecimal into both binary and decimal. Um, so remember, hexadecimal means that you count using 0 to 9, and then 10 is A, 11 is B, all the way up to F, which is 15. Okay, so we start by writing each nibble, so each separate um, digit in our number, so A and 7, and we convert them into the decimal number. So A is worth 10, and 7 is less than 10, so it's just, it's just 7. Okay, then we need to convert these decimal numbers into binary. Um, so 10 in binary is, you can do it the long way if you want, so let's go 10. Um, divided by 2 is 5, which goes perfectly, so we'll have a 0 over here. 5 divided by 2 is 2, which doesn't go perfectly, so we put a 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1, which goes perfectly, so we have a 0. And then 1 divided by 2 is a half, and we need a 1 there. So 10 in um, binary is 1010. And let's do the same for 7. So let's start with um, help. Let's start with 7 at the top. Divide it by 2 and we get 3.5, which didn't go perfectly. Then divide it again by 2, which again didn't go perfectly. 1 divided by 2, again doesn't go perfectly. So 7 is 3 ones. We'll pad it out so it's got 4 bits this time. So 7 in binary is 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so our hexadecimal number A7 in binary, you just put the 2 nibbles, the two 4-bit sections together. So from the A, we get 1010, 0, 0, and from the 7, we get 0111. Then, we can work out how much each bit is worth. So, let's start on the right, we get a 1 from this bit over on the right, we get a 2 um, from the next bit, and we get a 3 from the next bit. Um, this would have been... <laughs> no, we don't want my talking about. Sorry, we get a 1, we get a 2, and we get a 4. Um, we don't have an 8, we don't have a 16, but we do have 32. We don't have a 64, but we do have 128. Okay, so if we add all of those numbers up together, we get, oh gosh, um, we get 167.